Hey there everyone, Monk7Mad here today with some new stuff going on and today we're actually going to be building a really nice colour correction tutorial and you may notice a few things. Firstly, I'm actually using a laptop. I'm also using Photoshop CS6 instead of CS5 and I'm also using a brand new screen recorder. So, basically I just went on a mad spree because I'm going back to, well I've actually been back at university now a week when I bought myself a load of stuff, I got a bundle on Photoshop and a laptop together. So I thought I'd do all my videos from there from now, which uh, will keep me a little bit more updated and I can do some more stuff. Um, I sort of want to try and do a bit more photo manipulation as well. So we might even end up doing some speed art contests and uh, and, and all sorts of stuff like that. We might even do a, a giveaway background every week or something. I don't know. I might also be launching a Twitter page soon, which... We'll, we'll see how we go. I'd like your opinion actually on that. If you could let me know in the comment section below, then uh, that would be a really great help. So today we're actually going to be building a different color correction. The last one we built was a really nice style blue, but this one I thought I wanted to vary it as much as I could. And we're going to be building this, and this is really nice, and this is sort of known as cray, and uh, that's that's sort of where you've got the original colors, and you've got one color over the top. It sort of distorts it so I could turn the colour off and you'd see this was the original colour correction. And you know, you get to choose what you sort of add into the colour correction. I'm only just there to sort of advise you. You may have seen a few um, backgrounds on YouTube which are sort of like this. Maybe not with purple, but something like this. And let's uh, let's build that then, shall we? This is the original. So the first thing that we're going to do here in Photoshop is we're going to make a new folder. And you're just going to name this color correction, just so you're uh, aware of what the folder is. And then first thing we're going to do is this is actually a really quite simple color correction. And we're going to go to the bottom here where there's a circle, and we're going to select the option called gradient map. And like the previous tutorial, I suggested that you make a, a black to white gradient map on top, which is actually used for contrasts. Now, instead of actually using overlay like I did in the previous tutorial, we're going to go to the top where it says normal, which is the blend mode. And you're going to opposite, sorry, not opposite click, you're just going to click on that and choose the option called hard light. And this automatically will build a really nice strength. Now, with my uh, my sort of page here, you can see I've sort of got a little lighter sections, which when this is enabled, it reduces. So this is a really nice sort of way of just uh, sort of nipping everything making it look a little bit more professional and uh, don't forget to drag them in into the uh, into the folder so they are actually joined together and we're going to make another gradient map now this one is actually where you choose your colors this is completely up to you which one you go with um, I'll do a few samples so you can see some of the colors that you might have available and I will also put a few variations to the colors that we make and they'll be in the description at the end of the video so the one that I actually used before was this one and you go to the blend mode and change the blend mode to hue and this is where you modify the color this is the very first one I made and it's uh, this one here and again there's the option of the cray or not so we're gonna go with this one for the time right so we'll go with this one for the time being um, you can change the colour as much as you like. Maybe you'd like a, a green, which is quite nice. Um, let's have a look. Maybe uh, a blue. Go a red option. Purpley orange option. Whitey blue, pink. Y you name it, you can change it to whatever style that you're interested in. I might actually go with... Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to do it with a green, I think, just because it's a, a, a slight variation. You can choose whatever colour you're interested in. I will, like I say, I'll put a few gradients in that you can choose from. Right, so when we've done that, we are going to add a curves layer. Just curves. Aha. All right. I'm just going to drag the properties box out so you can see it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a curves for brightness and contrast, which is 
simple you just go to the line and you lift it up to brighten it up and go down and bring it down to make a contrast so we've got a slight s curve here and again this is just sort of a, a nice way of sort of neatening up the page removing any sort of unwanted uh, light or something like that and if your page is too dark we will actually be adding another brightness and contrast in a little bit later on um, but first we're going to build another curve layer and this one is where you modify the colors so you go to the top which says RGB click on the drop down arrow and click on red and that's the first one and you can modify sort of the styles that you go with by lifting the bar up and you can contrast it down to make a a greeny blue tint and this is actually a really sort of obscure version but you can make it a lot more subtle just by keeping everything slightly closer to the line now I'm actually going to leave it like this so mine is actually the first point is actually touching the line and then the second one is sort of a, a, a D shape beneath it and then we're just going to keep going with the colors so we're going to go next to green and this is where you actually enhance how strong the green is if you lift it up you'll give it a a boost in green if you bring it down then you lose green in fact that's quite an interesting purple but that's that's beyond the point so you can uh, sort of lift it up a little bit and you can make a contrast of it as well so the background is perhaps not as green um, but options up to you it's again a slight s curve so it's a uh, first point above the line only just and the second one down here is beneath and finally we're going to blue and this is where the final colors come in so you can either again just boost the the background mainly this is mainly a background color um, enhancement and you can bring it down if you just want to give it some sort of tonal green thing so the more color you remove from one the more color of the others show show up okay so let's say you're happy with with whatever you've got there I'm just going to uh, put this over here for a minute okay now this is your chance to put in your brightness and contrast so maybe your page is too dark maybe you want to give it a boost in brightness you can um, I'm actually just going to put it at 5 just for the sake of putting it at 5 and I'm going to bring the contrast to about 25 nope doesn't want to go on 25 alright let's just type in 25 but uh, it's up to you. Again, it's just one of those things where it's a preference. Um, it just enhances the, the colouring a little bit. And when you've decided on your brightness and contrast, this is your choice to either leave it as it is and say you've got a nice green colour correction. You could alternatively add a, a pattern. Not that one though. You want a, a simple line pattern and you change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity to about 30 percent that's that's generally my best um, setting for something like a pattern I, I always find that to be the best setting um, so when that's done you've got the option now of adding the cray style and if you want the cray style what you do is you go to the bottom where the semicircle is again and you select this time you select something called the solid color option and you choose um, sort of the grey you want. I always think a good point is about here which is actually 90, 90 and 90. So it's in the middle of all three of the uh, colours. And click OK. And you might think well wh wh where, where's the thing gone? Where's the, where's the page? Well this time we actually have to change the blend mode from normal to something called lighten. And this is where you get to change how strong the effect is now at the moment this is actually really strong uh, sometimes I think it's it works fantastic it depends on the page and perhaps who it's for as well um, but this is still quite nice and you can change the opacity down a bit say 60% if you want to tone it down and again you can just sort of boost it or, or reduce it depending on how how strong you want the effect I'm gonna probably say 84 Five is quite good. Uh, that's that's probably pretty well. And you can change the color of the uh, the background as well by just double clicking on the uh, the color box there and just changing it. Obviously, the the darker the color gets, the uh, the darker the background will get as well. So if it's black, then it removes the color because we're using something called lighten. It mainly picks up light a lot stronger. So you can uh, sort of change it to where you want. 
Maybe that's better. I don't know. Anyway, that is pretty much your color correction tutorial for today. And if we just have a look at the before and after, you can see there's quite a drastic change there. So that is going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, then like the video to show that you enjoyed it. And it always shows me that you're enjoying it as well. Maybe even give me a bit of a spur on to build some more. Uh, the link for this will be in the description and it will include, let's say, I'll have it so that there's four color corrections. There's going to be this one in green, this one in blue, this one in red, and this one in purple. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope to see you in my next video and I hope to see you in my channel as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an absolutely terrific day. Thank you and take care.